Hola, I'm Karishma Sukrani and my love affair with food has been a long-standing one. So today I'm here with Travel and Leisure to explore one of my favourite destinations, Spain. From tapas to sangria and patatas bravas to my personal favourite churros, Spain has a lot to offer in terms of culinary delights. But very little compares to the humble dish of the paella. What was once considered a poor man's dish has now gained admirers across all societal segments. And it's no wonder then that September 20th is celebrated each year as World Paella Day. We're all waiting to fly down to Spain and divulge in this rich culture of Spain, its tradition of food, the paella. And while we can't do that this year, we have something in store for you because I'm here in Mumbai with Chef Manuel Olveira of La Loca Maria restaurant and he's going to show us how to make this fantastic dish which you can recreate in your homes. Hi, my name is uh, Chef Manuel Olveira. The word paella day is important for us because paella is a culture in Spain, it's part of our lives. Today, I will show you how we cook two different types of paella. India and Spain have a rich and diverse gastronomy and share an interest for different types of cuisine. On this occasion, I invite you all to watch my, the great Spanish chef uh, Manuel Olveira preparing a vegetarian paella and to watch chefs from many other countries participating in a contest organized by the region of Valencia. I hope you will all enjoy this celebration with us. First, olive oil, two teaspoons of garlic, We saute the garlic a little bit, then we'll put some vegetables, which in this case is broccoli and cauliflower. Continue with sofrito. This is a, a mixture of vegetables of onion, garlic, bell peppers, and tomato. Next one, saffron. A good quantity of saffron, because the paella, the main ingredient is the saffron. We saute for about two minutes. We continue with marmalade. This is onion, caramelized onions. Just onion cook for very long time in olive oil, probably six hours. After that, I'm going to add the rice. It has to combine with the ingredients properly. It has to be mixed with all the flavors. Next ingredient will be pimenton. Pimenton is a smoke Spanish paprika, that is the main ingredient, along with the saffron. In the version of uh, vegetable paella, I add a little chili powder. Cook all together fast because the pimenton, the Spanish paprika, gets burned, so it has to be very fast. And we have the other the stock ready. We put exactly double quantity of the rice. Here comes the most important part of the cooking. It's very important to don't stir because we don't want the starch of the rice to come out. I will season a little the stock. To we'll start boiling, we will add the green peas. Taste it. Roasted bell peppers. Okay, now it's boiling. I like to finish the paella in the oven. That will give a crust on top. We are gonna saute the garnish of the paella, which is cauliflower, broccoli, baby eggplant, and green beans. Here we have the paella out of the oven and we are going to place the garnishing on top. 
in Spain we always add um, garlic alioli to our paellas. So in this case it's a veg paella, so I have eggless mayo, parsley, chopped parsley. And because we are in Mumbai, in India, we will add a little of chili oil. The last, lay some lemon wedges on the sides. My God, I've been sitting there and it's been killing me. This smells so good and looks even more delicious can I, than it can smells. <laughs> can we try now? Yeah, please, try yeah. it. I'm sold. <laughs> can we have World Paella Day every day? <laughs> I think what I like most is the smoky paprika in it. Mm -hmm. It's really different and something that, I mean, all Indians love spice and, you know, I think this hint of smokiness yeah. takes it to another level. Yeah, it's a and balance between the spiciness. Balance and yeah. with all the veggies and the whole fast cooking process uh -huh. like you were doing, I yeah. think it goes really well and I'm definitely going to try this at home. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Amazing. Paella means a round pan like this with two handles and originally it was the lunch time food for the people, the farmers working, working in the Valencia countryside where they cook with whatever they could find with rice and in the orange tree fields. And by the way they used to cook this paella with orange tree the wood which gave the paella a really exceptional and exquisite flavor. Over the years this uh, Valencian origin uh, paella uh, have found uh, its uh, distinct role in the international gastronomy circuit. And now with the around 8 million searches, uh, this has crowned the paella as one of the most international dishes uh, all around the world. I have been here for two years and I have the pleasure and honor today to, to participate in this event which consists of World Paella Day. This is the day where all Valencians and Spaniards uh, meet together in order to uh, commemorate and to enjoy mostly our most famous uh, dish in Spanish cuisine, which is the paella, as you know. We are here just to uh, insist upon the fact that despite all the crisis, and especially this COVID crisis, our way of life uh, is not affected, it will never be affected, and we will still get together to celebrate and to enjoy it together. With the current COVID crisis, we had almost forgotten what travel feels like and how important it is in our lives. But today, on World Paella Day, 
a little bit of that spirit came back. Speaking to the chef, experiencing this amazing dish and enjoying a slice of Spain right here in Mumbai, I figured even if Spain and India are miles apart, there is still so many things similar. The spice, the hospitality and the people. So far, yet so close. The food crosses boundaries and unites us all. Until we touch the Spanish shores, here's a little something that will remind you of the Spanish culture and its amazing gastronomical delight. So happy world paella day! Thank you.